When I was younger, my mom would take my broken and used crayon bits and break them up and melt them in cupcake tins to create these really big colorful crayons that I could use. And nowadays it's even more fun because of silicone molds. And so I'm going to show you today how you can use a silicone mold and your leftover crayons to create some really cool large crayons that are a lot of fun to play with and especially for like little kids you can make goodie bags for birthday parties or whatever from them and so I'm going to show you how to do that today and what I actually used was a mold from Dollar Tree that is labeled as an ice cube tray but since I know it was made out of pure silicone I knew that it would work in the oven and not melt Collect some used or broken crayons, remove the papers, and break or cut into smaller pieces. I chose to arrange mine by color, but you can mix up the colors for a more fun look. Place the mold in a pan or cookie sheet and place in the oven, preheated to about 215 degrees for 15 minutes. Remove carefully and set aside to cool. Pop the crayons out of the mold and you're ready to color. So what I've always liked about this kind of project is the way the colors mix and they kind of marble and just looked really neat. Um, I did have just a little bit of trouble getting the crayons to pop out of the mold cleanly. They did leave a little bit of crayon residue in the mold and I don't know if it's because I was messing with them before they completely cooled or if there was something like a, a powder or spray or something that I could have used to make it work just a little bit better but they still came out really cute and they're still usable and everything so um, but if you have a tip on getting them to come out just a little bit smoother um, please leave it in the comments below because I would love to know and so I hope you like this little quick crafty project and I'll have a new sewing tutorial up next week so I'll see everyone later bye <laughs>